Hello, children of God. How are you doing today? I know you are blessed. I know God is taking care of you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Our topic today is Who is your best friend? <laughs> Hallelujah. It is very important to ensure that our friendship with Jesus is our priority. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Proverbs 18.24 says, A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Best friends, best friends are those who found a way to be with you during tough times. They are friends who would drive hundreds of miles to be with you, catch an aeroplane to stand by your side, or even cancel the appointments to join you. True friends don't stop with a phone call or a letter or an email. They find a way to be there. A true friend does not have to tell you he or she loves you. You know they do. A true friend is one who walks in when the rest of the world walks out. Imagine if you were in real need and you called on your best friend to help and he or she says they can't help you and they let it. Not because... They don't have enough to help you. It's simply because they are not just your friends. This doesn't mean you must do it for that. Just because someone refused to help you in times of desperate need does not mean you should stop helping others when they are in need. The book of Luke chapter 6 verse 35, Jesus said, Do good to them and let to them without expecting to get anything back then your reward will be great. Hallelujah. We live in the age of deception and mistrust where it is very difficult to find a true friend. In the world, there are all kinds of friends, fake friends, who will fake you out when you need them most. <laughs> some are friends who will be there some of the time. Telephone friends who will turn on the answering machine? Hmm. Bubble friends, who will bust when the pressure is on? Noisy friends, who live in your business? Hmm. Jealous friends, hmm. who want your positions? Hmm. Lying friends, who will lie to you? Unsafe friends, who will lead you to hell? <laughs> After Jesus, my very best friend is one of my daughters. I will not call her name here. Even though she's young, we still share our secrets and we advise each other. Even though she's a young girl, she still has a shoulder for me to lean on when I'm down. She will not share my secret with others or gossip me. She will not stab me in the back and she will always support and give me help when I need her most. And her word of wisdom has brought wealth and peace to my life. Beloved, it is very good to have a friend you can trust in times of need. A friend you can share your pain and wound with. A friend that will be there to support your needs and help you. You can make your husband or wife your best friend or allow God to choose a real friend for you. I've learned how to be a better friend over the years by falling, by sinning, by repenting, encouraging, listening, giving, advising, supporting, and above all, allowing the Holy Spirit to mature me in areas that I need to grow. Beloved, do not force friendships. Make Jesus your best friend and allow him to choose a true friend for you. And again, I want to beg you and plead in for you, my brethren. If you have not yet given your life to Jesus, 
please do so now by praying this prayer with me lord jesus thank you for dying for me on the cross i confess my sins to you today forgive me lord and give me the power to sin no more in jesus mighty name amen